Hello and welcome to Design and Business Conversations for Creatives. I'm Shani and today I'm chatting with you about working from home. Uh, I'm going to share my five top tips for working from home. I know it can be really difficult for some. Um, I've noticed particularly at this time we're in New Zealand, we're in a um, stage four alert uh, for COVID-19. So a lot of people are having to work remotely. So uh, this is for not just creatives, but everyone who's working at home remotely. Tip number one is get up, get dressed, and act as if you're going to the office. This is really important. Uh, when I say get dressed, I don't usually look like this. I'm looking like this because I'm on a YouTube channel. However, when I get up and get up, get dressed in the morning, uh, I usually wear active wear, anything but pajamas. <laughs> Also, it's good to designate a an office space in your house. So I'm upstairs. This is my office space, and yeah, it allows me to not work in somewhere where I usually relax, like my bedroom or the lounge. Um, it just offers a bit of separation. So yep, getting up, get get dressed. That's super important. Number two, structure your day. So uh, I get up, I wait, I work from nine till five, as if I'm at a real job um, and I take a break in the middle for lunch and also two two breaks or probably a few more than that just to make a coffee and stuff like that but it's super important to um, time block and be quite disciplined with yourself in in those working hours set your own parameters number three organize your space uh, for me it's really important that my desk in my environment is clean that allows me to have a clear head to create um, <clears throat> yeah number four take breaks I can't stress this enough eating at your desk anywhere is not good it's not good for productivity it's not good for creativity it's it's not good for posture it's not good for mindfulness it's just it's just a bad idea. Take a break. Um, I like to get out and go for a walk uh, most lunch times. So I'll take an hour out of my day for lunch and to go for a walk. And that, that means I come back to work in my afternoon block feeling satisfied, full. Uh, I've had some fresh air and I'm ready to go. Uh, number five. This is the biggest one and probably the most important. And I think the one that I find most people struggle with the most and that is eliminating any distractions. So uh, turn off your phone, unless it's unless you need it for business. I mean, it's super tempting to, you know, do those little things like, oh, I've just gotta, just gotta do that over there or I've just gotta do that over there or whatever. Um, but tch, remember your structure, work within the parameters that you give yourself. And if you were at the office, you probably wouldn't be making your bed and doing the laundry and all the rest of it. If you if you if you're someone like me who's kind of distracted by mess, close the door, get in another room. Um, yeah, setting boundaries is super important when you're working for yourself um, and when you're working from home. So I have people calling me. I just have to say no. Don't answer those calls. Call them back at a time that's convenient. Do not let it disrupt your flow. Yeah, well, this is my first video ever on YouTube and I'm not super comfortable in front of the camera, so I'm just gonna, just disclaimer. Um, but yeah, we'll see how I go. And this is my first time editing and yeah, so if you um, like this video, give it a thumbs up below, press subscribe, help support me. Uh, I work for myself. Over the following weeks, I'm gonna share with you some more tips and tricks for design and business specifically uh, for creatives. So yeah, thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.